Dyke Drive. At quarter to three in the morning. April 2nd, 2013. We're getting to the moment we've been waiting for. Getting ready now to make love. So move a little closer so I can see what's in your eyes before I kiss you and you ask for me. Getting to the moment we've been waiting for Getting ready now to make love So move a little This car's coming, it might be a cop, I gotta go You can't use your cell phone, you know, when you're driving Yeah, they're gone, they passed me They give you that old ticket they give you that old ticket if you use your cell phone. I need a better camera for doing this. This is just on my iPhone. There's a gas station. Seeing the sights at 2.46 a.m. There's a mall. That's a mall. I also need to clean my windows. Stoplight coming up. Can't even see the stoplight. Can you see the little walking man? Little walking man, opposite direction. We'll get into the moment we've been waiting for. Getting ready now to make love So move a little closer So I can see what's in your eyes Before I kiss you And you ask for more I can't hit that, what's that note at the end? I'm not a singer I am not a singer So don't expect me to hit no note But I'm not going to have a particular hard time Before I kiss you And I before I kiss you and you ask for more Something like that, I don't know. I can't say much shit, man. It's the night drive. For those of you that don't know why I'm singing this song and driving around, it was a television show back in the 80s and early 90s, I think. It's called Night Drive and Back then, for all you youngins, all you youngins that uh, don't remember that time, there was a time when, after a certain hour, television just stopped. Like after like one o'clock in the morning, television stopped, and they just played test patterns. And some channels, they just play. Uh, they, they put on uh, old reruns of like the Waltons and Magnum P.I., like old, old uh, television shows that were like 10 years old and stuff. Some channels would put on uh, some infomercials, but most channels they just put test patterns. It was just a screen that had a time on it. And that would run from like 1 o'clock in the morning to like 6 o'clock in the morning. nothing to watch. Well, this one channel they would uh, put on this show, what they would do is they would put on this show that was called Night Ride. Some nights it was Night Ride and some nights it was Night Walk. And I gotta get me a smoke while I explain this to you in historical context for the purposes of posterity and the recording of history. 
because it was now 2013. It was no longer the late 80s, or early 90s. So anyway, they would put on this show. On well, some nights you would tune in. It was night drive. Some nights you would tune in, and it was night walk. And when it was night drive, what they do is they just stick some stick some guy with a camera. They stick some guy with a camera in a car and they just drive around and film. And for like four hours at nighttime, after television went off, they would play the film of them just driving around the city. There's the Central Experimental Farm right there, but you can't see it because it's nighttime. So anyway, and from like one o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the morning, you just watch this guy driving around the city and they would just play this. You know, it was some production that a local TV station did. Um, and they didn't have a lot of money, I guess, so they didn't have a lot of money for licensing songs, so they got some, like, local artists, and they licensed, like, two songs, and they would just play those songs over and over, so it was just, you would just watch hours, and you'd come home at night, and you'd be, you know, you'd be coming down from a good drunk, and you'd be wasted and watching TV, and it had this hip sort of hypnotic effect and you just put it on and you'd veg and just watch this thing this car driving around they played it back in like kind of a little bit slow motion and it was called night drive you just watch this guy driving around just like pretty much like you're seeing here only they had a much better camera I gotta go through there might be a cop there they had a much better camera, of course. They didn't have a, uh, an iPhone. And you would just uh, watch the streets go by and the lights go by. That was a cop. And, uh... He's not turning around, is he? No, he's not. So you would watch the, uh, the lights go by and there's these... Just these two songs, and one of them, one of them I think was just an instrumental tune. But the other one, it was just this kind of soft jazz song, and that's how it went. Get into the moment we've been waiting for. Getting ready now to make love. There's a woman singing it. So move a little closer, so I can see what's in her eyes before you kiss me. And you ask for more. I like that. That's all I remember of it. But I remember it. I watched that damn thing so many times. 25 years later, I still remember it. Although, I'm going to be completely honest, I actually found it on YouTube a while back. But I, I, I remembered it anyway. I remember most of it anyway. But, but there is a YouTube video of it. Somebody did, like, somebody found, like, an old... Uh, VHS tape that had they'd had it recorded on oh, maybe another cop there. They'd had it recorded on and they uh, they digitized it and uploaded it to YouTube. Is that a cop? What the hell is that guy doing? What the hell is all these people doing? What the hell? What the hell's going on there? Weird. Three o'clock in the morning. Old shit ton of cars pulled up to the, uh, <coughs> pulled up some store in a mall. Oh, I'm gonna run the yellow. Okay, it was yellow. What people are doing here? Sightseeing Tim Hortons. SO station. SO gas station. Maybe I'll try and find that YouTube video, snag the audio off of it, and overlay it on top of this tape. And make my own night drive. Back when that was going on too, when they were playing that original Night Drive. 
back in the late 80s, um, affordable video cameras that like teenagers and shit could actually, the average teenager could actually own, was just kind of a new thing. A few years before that, you could get a video camera, but like no teenager could afford one, you know, unless your daddy was rich or something. But right around that time, you know, ones came out that if you're a middle, you know, your regular middle class teen, you could get your hands on one of these, or the Maryvale Mall, you could get your hands on one of these uh, video cameras. And I remember you go out because we were like, you know, 17 years old and gas was cheap as hell back then. We'd, some nights, we'd just, a lot of nights we'd just go out and like drive around and there's nothing else to do and we just drive around and see what happens and get into all kinds of trouble and shit. And every so often someone would have a video camera with them. And somebody would always say that, hey man, we can make our own night ride. Let's make our own night ride. Poor chick. Anyway, there's 11 minutes and 30 seconds coming up on 11 minutes and 30 seconds of the boringest freaking video you've ever watched in your life, right? And now it's just all darkness because I'm going down back streets as I approach my destination fairly soon. So I'm going to turn this puppy off at about 12 minutes worth of video. 57, 58. 